Well, Oprah Winfrey once said, there's nothing like a beauty makeover to lift the spirits of a woman, no matter what her age. And she was talking about the nonprofit group Glamour Gals. Glamour Gals are a bunch of young women who help elderly women look good and feel good, too, as early show contributor Katrina Zish tells us. Nice to see you this morning. Nice to see you both. Good morning. Well, it's true. We met up with a group of teens, volunteers who traded a <clears throat> precious Friday night out in New York City to spend their time making over seniors. And what we found was a gathering about so much more than bright lipstick and nail polish. This is a pretty color. It's makeover night at this senior center for the visually impaired. Your yeah. skin is glowing. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, that looks pretty. This group of teenage girls is painting nails and applying makeup, but most importantly, they're connecting with many who will never be able to see the transformation. I think you don't really need to see to feel beautiful, but if you have others complimenting you, telling you, oh, you look wonderful, you look great, That'll, your self-esteem will just go skyrocketing. The teens are all part of Glamour Gals, an organization that brings generations together through beauty, but hopes to deliver so much more. Hello, how are you? Good. Like companionship. Give you a little uh, pampering today? Rachel yes. Doyle founded Glamour Gals while still in high school to honor her late grandmother, a former beautician on Fifth Avenue at the Elizabeth Arden Red Door Salon, and a woman Rachel never got to know. My father was sharing these stories that I wasn't able to hear from my own grandmother with me. And I thought, imagine if I start meeting other people's grandmothers and hearing their stories, and they share those with me. It feels good, right? <laughs> Why is it important for teens, for young girls, to get involved in a community service like this? You know, I think Glamour Gals really builds life skills. You know, they have to introduce themselves to someone they've never met before. Want me to do it anywhere else? They have to touch that person and say, you know, can I put my fingers on your cheek to apply the rouge? It's a little cool to the touch. 11 years since the first makeover, Glamour Gals is a success, with 1,200 volunteers and 60 chapters across the country. What inspired you guys to get involved with the program? Um, actually, this is a perfect chance for me to actually get, like, um, improve my communication skills with older people. But this is a wonderful and beautiful way for me to connect with someone and also gain a lot from the community and give back. Just a little, Just a little bit, yeah. How does Glamour Gals transcend generations? How does it bring them together? For the, the teen girls, it's an opportunity for them to discover their potential as leaders in the community. And for the women, I think it's an opportunity to have a renewed sense of dignity and beauty. Now my grandma uses that. All through the simplicity of a makeover. How is it connecting with, with someone you've never met before here and making it. her look absolutely beautiful? I love it because you can like learn something new about someone, like no matter what the age. Like I love meeting new people, so I'm really happy. It was amazing to see the transformation of both the teenagers and also the seniors. You could see they were genuinely enjoying each other's company. And when we asked if they'd be coming back for more, both the teens and the seniors unanimously said yes. One woman we spoke with was so overjoyed that despite her visual impairment, she was actually able to see specks of glitter in her painted nails. So it was really a great place to be That's and great. a really uplifting story. How often will the teens go? Um, they go to different places yeah. and they'll go maybe once a month, maybe right. twice a month, depending on. And Good they also them. help men sometimes too, I understand. They it's really a wonderful organization. Katrina, thank you.